Hello, and welcome back to Neighborhood House. My name is Miss Amelia. I am the preschool teacher here at Neighborhood House. As you can see, I'm still wearing my mask. For the purpose of this story that I'm gonna to read to you today, I'm going to take my mask off so you can hear me better. The story I'm gonna to read to you today is called Those Mean, Nasty, Dirty, Downright Disgusting, but Invisible Germs. This story is by Judith Rice, illustrated by Reed Merrill. This is Beth. She is five years old. One day when she was at school, painting the most beautiful rainbow, a mean, nasty, dirty, downright disgusting, but invisible germ got on her hand, the kind that can give you an earache. And if you could see it, maybe it would look like this. The next germ came along while Beth was building a space station with wooden blocks. It was a mean, nasty, dirty, downright disgusting, but invisible germ the kind that can give you a headache. And if you could see it, maybe it would look like this. While Beth was reading the most interesting story, a mean, nasty, dirty, downright disgusting, but invisible germ got on her hand, the kind that can give you a sore throat. And if you could see it, Maybe it would look like this. Next, Beth was pretending to be a grown up when a mean, nasty, dirty, downright disgusting, but invisible germ got on her hand, the kind that can give you a temperature. And if you could see it, maybe it would look like this. Then last but not least, the worst, most horrible, mean, nasty, dirty, downright disgusting, but invisible germ got all over her hand while she was driving her truck to Alaska. It's the kind that makes you throw up. And if you could see it, it might look like this. Now, Ben's hands were covered with mean, nasty, dirty, downright disgusting, but invisible germs. Thank goodness Beth knows what everybody needs to know how to get rid of germs. Before lunch, Beth washed her hands with lots of soap. She couldn't hear them, but while she rubbed and scrubbed, rinsed and rubbed and scrubbed, yikes! screamed the germ that can give you an earache as it went swirling, whirling down the drain. Foiled again, shouted the germ that can give you a headache as it went swirling, whirling down the drain. Whoa, 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 cried the germ that gives you a sore throat as it went swirling, whirling down the drain. Oh no, steamed the germ that gives you a fever as it went swirling, whirling down the drain. Now, do you think that that was the end of all those horrible germs? Oh no, there was one germ left. The meanest, nasty, downright disgustingness and most invisibleness germ of all, the one that makes you throw up. It was hiding in the palm of Beth's hand. Germs like wet places, and Beth's hands were wet from washing. Germs like warm places, and our bodies are always warm. But being the wonderful, intelligent child that Beth is, she knew all about what germs like, so she carefully dried her hands. She couldn't hear it, but the germ that makes you throw up said, I'll be back! as Beth threw it away into the wastebasket. 
Beth picked up her peanut butter and banana sandwich with her clean, germ-free hands, took a bite, and said, simply delicious. And even though she knew that all those mean, nasty, dirty, downright disgusting, but invisible germs would be back, Beth felt safe and happy because she knew what everyone needs to know. Hand washing gets rid of germs. I hope you enjoyed the story that I read to you today. Always wash your hands. Continue to be safe. And thank you for joining me today.